non vascular plants and fungal systematics course overview uh, here at central university of punjab so the non vascular plant means uh, or the plants without vasculature isn't it uh, the uh, xylem and phloem so basically this vascular plant means uh, uh, tracheophytes you know and non vascular plant is the one which doesn't have the vasculature you know so that is uh, simple as that so usually this uh, non vascular plants are inconspicuous while vascular plants are conspicuous is very dominant in the flora of earth more than uh, i would say around 270000 species of vascular plants you know but the non vascular plants are you know you won't see that in uh, usually unless in a specific habitat isn't it but uh, non vascular plants are more dominant in uh, in in the marine environment you know and also the aquatic environments mostly non vascular plants isn't it and also the fungus uh in strictly speaking fungus is uh, you cannot call it as a, a plant because it is not a photosynthetic right though it is a sessile non motile organism you know so in this course we will see uh you know the uh, general introduction to the plant taxonomy and systematics that is the first unit all about the icn and uh, different kinds of uh, the taxonomy and what is the difference between uh, taxonomy and biodiversity or classification and systematics all these related concepts we will see it and then we will uh, start discussing about the speciation uh, what is species you know different concepts of species biological species concept and phylogenetic or evolutionary species concept species problem you know and uh, yes yeah, so then we will come in icn that is about the uh, international code of nomenclature for algae fungus and plants right and all the typification everything so this is the first unit and second unit we will discuss about the tree of life that is entire biodiversity on planet earth so an overview of the entire uh, different kinds of kingdoms and domains first then kingdoms and uh, higher order to see where exactly the plants are uh, placed at you know it is not the kingdom plantae alone right uh, it's very diverse many of the kingdom the six kingdom classification many kingdoms have got algae or plant uh, you know so uh, and even fungus right so that is why it it should have we should have a holistic view of the whole tree of life then the third unit we will talk about the algal and fungal classification uh, the current molecular systematic uh, position of all these uh, uh, you know economically important uh, genus and families that we will see it and finally on fourth unit uh, we will talk about the bryophytes that is moss you know and uh, life cycles of the moss and uh, uh, important moss in india and habitat and all those things by the classification and molecular systematics of the moss so that is how this uh, particular course is arranged and of course we have the course home page go please check it out uh, where you can access all the powerpoint presentations and a forum link to the websites and the practice files for practical sessions uh quiz assignment submission and practical related assignments everything will be there in the course home page the textbook which i uh like to follow is the jude et al's uh, plant systematics of phylogenetic approach jude campbell and kellogg etc right uh, et al so this is a very good book that gives you the latest uh, taxonomy as per the angiosperms systematics you know phylogenetic group apg4 right uh so how we are actually classifying so the classification scheme keep on changing so it's always better to stick with the latest you know as per the latest evidence so whatever thing is and also for species species is the central concept in taxonomy you know how do you define the species and also how to describe a new species like if you discover a new plant species how do you describe it there is a formal way of doing that so for that i suggest this particular book jude uh, uh, judith winston's uh, describing species it's a very good book uh, we do have here in the library so do approach me in case you would like to have a copy of this and also another book which i suggest is uh, phylogenetics theory and practice of phylogenetic systematics by william lieberman it's a very good book a solid introduction to uh, how this phylogenetic systematics can be used for uh better understanding of how the biodiversity is interrelated you know and of course any textbook in biology few chapters you will see about the systematics and taxonomy sections 
like uh, you know the Campbell and Rees uh, biology sixth edition you can see or the seventh you know if it's available and of course there are several online courses uh, what I suggest is that how uh, you know uh, what plant knows that's a very good course which I have taken long uh, time back and also plant systematics at University of Wisconsin understanding plants through Coursera and fundamentals of plant biology again through Coursera all these are MOOC which is massive open online courses completely free please have a look and also this is another of my favorite courses by Tel Aviv University in Israel what a plant knows and how uh, and other things that you didn't know about plants so it is like a solid introduction about various uh, you know various uh, attributes various you know like uh, uh, mysteries of the plants so it's it's a very good uh, course okay and other general resources uh, which I recommend for any course which I teach include uh, please have a look at the latest popular science journals uh, so that you you will know that what is actually happening in the world of science and also check out my own uh, you know the science show called curiosity where I sum up the latest development in the world of science and technology and also humanities all together all mix up every month there is one show check it out in my youtube channel so usually I suggest these three uh, especially two the first two scientific american and new scientists are really good uh, you know resources for the students and resonance is a uh, uh, undergraduate level uh, popular science journal by indian academy of sciences also of good standard and please do subscribe to these podcasts and do listen to them naked scientist by welcome trust university of cambridge e life podcast and npr science friday podcast i've been regular for all these podcasts for almost a decade you know especially the naked scientist and npr science friday you know these two are really really good one and as usual there is a student feedback accessible in my website so you know you are welcome to provide any critical feedback or any appreciation to you know please do check it out and uh, you may click the feedback about the way i teach so i'm always uh, looking out on how to improve my teaching style also okay so yeah, you're welcome to provide any feedback which you may like.